in this video we will study in place heapification in other words we will learn how to make a heap in an array in the same array that we get the input in which the input is presented to us using no additional storage this comes in two parts firstly we will talk about how to implement a complete binary tree with an array since the heap structure is a complete binary tree structure first we will understand how a complete binary tree structure is implemented or emulated using an array and the second thing we will do is we will talk about a bottom-up heapification algorithm that goes from leaf level up to the root level of the heap using only the given array let us begin our study of in place heapification using an array by first looking at a mapping from an array to a complete binary tree or rather a way of emulating a complete binary tree on an array uh, note that given a, a binary tree a natural way of numbering this binary tree is as follows as you see on the screen in front of you the root is numbered 0 the left child of the root is numbered 1, the right child of the root is numbered 2. The left child of node i is numbered 2i plus 1, the right child is numbered 2i plus 2. By this we can see that the parent of a given node, for all nodes that have parents, that is all except the root, the uh, parent is given by i by 2 rounded down to the so we can see here if you if you look at uh, this i have drawn these lines to show that this is level 0 the nodes of level 0 are in this range of the array the nodes of level 1 sit in this range of the array the nodes of level 2 sit in this range of the array if this is level 1 level 2 uh, sorry this is level 0 this is level 1 this is level 2, level 3 and so on. So there is a natural mapping from the nodes of a complete binary tree to an array. Uh, in this we have to keep in mind one fact that if there is an incomplete level, if the lowest level of the binary tree is incomplete, then uh, the root, the nodes in that level must be the leftmost in, the, in that level that is uh, these must be 7 and 8 uh, for this mapping to work so if for example you put this node as a child of 4 and uh, this node as a child of 5 or something else then this mapping would cease to work and these uh, this uh, these two nodes that were down here would not naturally be uh, mapped to uh, 7 and 8 and this is why we always when we look at the <coughs> Uh, incomplete level of the complete binary tree that we use for uh, heaps we always keep the children to the extreme left so with this emulation in mind now let us move forward and look at the in place heapification algorithm so here's the same array uh, from before it has uh, nine uh, locations and it is an emulation of the heap with nine uh, nodes in it which is made up of complete binary tree whose zero first and second level up to the second level it is complete and the third level is incomplete now this array is our input array we are given the um, uh, nine elements that have to uh, which have to be made into a heap already populated in this array and when we say in place heap construction we are going to use the same array in which this input is given to construct a heap so now let us uh, look at this uh, construction algorithm it is a bottom-up construction algorithm as we know but what we are going to do is we are going to follow this algorithm as it works on this heap over here this uh, this heap structure over here which is virtual in the sense that it is for our understanding and we are going to actually perform operations in this array which is the actual storage that we are given so we are going to take steps on this tree and we're going to translate them into array operations so let us start with this algorithm as we know this algorithm is what is known as a bottom up bottom up algorithm and the way it works is that it builds the lowest level heaps first and moves upwards 
constructing bigger heaps out of the smaller heaps by uh, uh, by building bigger and bigger heaps uh, so as we when we discussed it in class we said we first build size 3 heaps then we put together two size 3 heaps bring one more key and make size 7 heaps put together two size 7 heaps and build one more add one more node and build size 15 heaps but when we look at it over here we see that the entire structure is built we just need to correctly heapify at every level so let us try and do that here's the lowest level over here this is a one node heap correctly heapified one node heap also correctly heapified but is this three node heap correctly heapified this one as it turns out it is because 2 is smaller than 11 and 65 so we are done that's fine great so let us look at the next uh, lowest heap and that next lowest heap is over here is this part of the heap right this this heap which starts with 7 and goes down to 6 so before that let us uh, check if the other side of 7 is correctly heapified this is a one node a heap and so it is correctly heapified because one node heap is always correctly heapified so now let us look at this 7 this 7 is not correctly heapified because one of its two children is actually smaller in fact both of its two children are smaller than it so we have to depend on the bubbling down process so let us quickly refresh what the bubbling down process is here we have the bubbling down step written on this other page so uh, in the bubbling down process if we, we are given a, a three node structure there is a parent node which contains uh, the key um, x and its two children contain the keys y and z if x is greater than the min of y and z then that means that uh, x is larger than one of the nodes in its children this is an untenable situation and we need to correct it to do that we swap x with the min of y and z and then continue so if suppose y is the min of uh, uh, y and z then what will happen over here is that we will uh, swap put y up here and x will come down here and then we will check if further bubbling down is required between a, the x in its new position and the two children below whatever uh, w and u are here we will again check and continue bubbling down till it's required or till we reach a leaf and uh, uh, and we'll go down and if on the other hand x was not greater than min y and z that means that x is less than equal to min y and z which means that this structure this uh, the structure that we started with which had an x a y and a z this is in the correct uh, form x is indeed less than y and z and so no further bubbling down is required and the procedure stops over here so this is the bubbling down step now let us go back where we were and perform this bubbling down step we were at this point we were considering the 7 and wondering if this is in its correct place it's not because uh, it is in fact the min of its two children 2 and 6 is 2 and 7 is greater than 2 so that means we need to swap and we need to swap 7 with the min of these two which is 2 so let's swap it and uh, erase this and the 2 comes up here and the 7 comes down here let us now ensure that we do the same thing in the array as well right so where is that this here and here so let's let's do that and so the 2 comes here and the 7 comes here <coughs> so you note that this flip in the array if you were just looking at this array it would be mysterious but when uh, you compare it with uh, the tree the heap operation on the tree then it starts making sense now this 7 needs to compare itself down here and fine 7 is uh, smaller than 11 7 is smaller than 65 nothing to do so this heap here this heap is sorted right now let's go to the other side this uh, single element heaps are fine let's look at this heap over here 
this is out of order because 13 is greater than 1 so we need to swap 13 with the min of 1 in 18 the min of 1 in 18 is 1 so let's do this swap um, and we move uh, we swap like this we put this one up here and we put this 13 down let's do the same swap over here as well so let us remove our 13 remove our one and put one over here and 13 over here note a very interesting thing happens in the array the smaller elements uh, smaller numbers tend to move left as we do this in the array uh, just as they move up in the tree they move left in the array now this when I bring this 13 down here it's bubbling down is completed because there are no children in this tree so we are done and this uh, entire heap which was already uh, heapified and this entire heap which was already heapified are now both done and we need to move up the tree and heapify this big heap which is in fact our entire heap so we have to apply the bubble down operation here so 20 is clearly greater than the min of 1 and 2 so we need to swap 20 with the min of 1 and 2 and the min of 1 and 2 is 1 so let us perform that operation we get rid of 20 we get rid of 1 and we move 1 up here and 20 down here right again we see that in the array smaller numbers move to the left and bigger numbers move to the right so 20 is not happy over here because uh, when we compare it to its two children we find that uh, it is larger than their min their min being 13 so 20 needs to move down further so let's move 20 down a little further and uh, swap it with 13 which is the rightful owner of this position up here at this point our bubbling down is completed um, we haven't completed in the array so let's do that we need to move this 20 out we need to move this 13 out and we need to swap them the smaller number moves to the left the larger number moves to the right and our in place heapification is complete so we saw that in place heapification is essentially a process uh, an, uh, in place in an array heapification is essentially the process of emulation of a complete binary tree using the relationships that we uh, mentioned earlier left child is 2i plus 1 right child is 2i plus 2 using these relationships we emulate the movement the bubble down of uh, on a tree in the array and uh, in this bottom up heap construction we move from the lowest level up the levels making sure that at every node we check that the heap the or the rather the sub heap what we are check is that the sub heap that is rooted at this particular node is correctly heapified and the invariant that we have we take is that the sub heaps lying below are completely heapified so this is the bottom up uh, operation let's uh, maybe let me write it over here <coughs> starting from the leaf level heapify subtree rooted at each node assuming that subtrees of the node are already heapified 
so if we assume that the subtrees of this node for example are already heapified then all we need to do is take the value that is currently resident in this node and bubble it down to its correct place and that heapifies the entire subtree uh, rooted at this node in this video we do not discuss the heap sort algorithm uh, which we now see now we understand can be done using simply an array we receive all the elements in an array we heapify bottom up to in place bottom up heapification the way uh, we have discussed so far and then proceed to delete uh, extract min one at a time and uh, reconfigure uh, the heap as we do when we extract min within this array in place and one by one move all the elements to the output we can put them at the back of the array if we want or we can put them in an output queue so heap sort uh, can be done using an array you don't need a tree implementation for it but that is a matter for another time we will not discuss it here we also do not discuss here the running time of this uh, uh, bottom up heapification uh, but we know that the running time is order n. This is something that we have discussed in class and uh, multiple ways of analyzing this are known. But the main uh, emphasis of this video is uh, bottom-up heapification and the fact that it can be done smoothly and seamlessly with no extra storage in an array.